Hello, my friend. Just because the world is in a mess doesn't mean you should let get your own world into a mess as well. In fact, the opposite is true. Because the world is in a mess, each of us has to take heed and take note of what happens when people let things get worse and worse instead of facing their problems, or when we allow the wrong motives to rule our lives rather than getting it right or trying to get it right. So going after lots of possessions or lots of power or lots of influence in some kind of way is never going to do the trick, my friend. It won't because you'll get swept up in this ocean of power and movement and domination and abuse that inevitably comes with it. Because when human beings can dominate others, they will instinctively do so. And it takes quite a bit of reflection and consideration and life knowledge not to do it. It's very hard to stay away from those kinds of scenarios when you go up the ranks and find yourself relating to people who are used to pushing other people around and who thinks it is normal to do that and who think it is fine to tread over others, which it never is. Not in my world, not in the world that works well, where people respect each other, where they have time to enjoy themselves and the people around them and do things that make the world a better place. Not in that world, it can't function like that. And that is what is important to remember. It's not a kind of obligation to act this way rather than that way. But if you want a world that is respectful and where there is room for everybody and for diversity of opinions and views and for discussion and understanding and learning. If you want a world like that, where we are gentle on ourselves and gentle on nature and gentle on the other plants and animals in the world, if you want a world like that, which I do, then you have to act in certain ways rather than in other ways. And there can be no excuse. It's down to individuals. It's down to you and I. Yes, my friend, that means we are important and it matters how we act, how we think, how we relate to everything that is around us. And more importantly, it matters how you act in relation to yourself. So if you disdain yourself and you become matter of fact or are careless about yourself and your own boundaries and your own needs and your own desires and your own limits and possibilities, if you stop being aware of this and you neglect those important things, there will be consequences people will walk all over you and other people will do the same as you do. So the world becomes divided between those who despair and give up and feel they're too weak to implement the good values and those who feel they have to elbow their way around the world and make room for themselves and they can do whatever they want to do to other people because nobody is stopping them. And because we are no longer aware of the values 
that we abide by and live by and how those values dictate the world that we inherit. The values we live by create the environment, the mental, the emotional and the spiritual moral environment that we inherit. Think about that. We create our mental, emotional, moral and spiritual world by the way we enact our values, each of us. Remember, if you let others affirm these negative values, these oppressive, domineering values, these egocentric, pushy values, then you are going along with that value system. It takes a lot of thoughtfulness to change that mentality. And it's up to all of us to change that. So my friend, each day matters. And each day in your life matters. Yes, Bruno, each day in your life matters too. Where are you going, my friend? Oh, uh, he needs to go for a walk. Let's go, my friend. Let's do it. You take care, my friend.